Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can link two different tables and then extract data from both of them. And I'm going to use the so-called inner join for this. What do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look at the data underlying all of this. On the one hand, I have my products table. I have unique product codes for each of my products. So for each product code, I know exactly the name, the weight and the costs. On the other hand, my orders are ordered by the order ID and contain information which products and in which quantity are ordered. So what I want to do, I want to use information from both tables so that for each order position, I can calculate the subtotal of the costs for this order position. So here, order 001, the first product. Well, I could also add what is this product called? Because if I actually going to write an invoice, it would be nice for my customer to know that's not product R001G, but instead get an information. You bought an alternator. You bought four alternators. The four alternators will cost you this much. That's what we're going to aim at. And well, as you might have guessed, we have the product codes in the orders. We have the product codes in the products. So that's what we're going to link the two tables with. And that's what you always need. You need to have a variable which exists in both tables and which is unique in one of the tables at the least. So we're going to use here the product code as the one thing which links both tables. And we're going to start with, well, what do I want to have? I want to have the order ID. That's something I already have here. Then I want to have the product name. I'm going to take this from my table products. So that was called, oops, product name. In addition, I'm going to go with how much has the customer ordered. That was also from the table orders. It was here the quantity part. And then I want to have the subtotal. How expensive is this? Well, what is the subtotal? The subtotal is the quantity on the one hand. So O dot quantity times the price, the price I have to take from the product, so it's costs, it's P dot costs. Since it's in cent, I better divide this by 100. If I would just add it like this, I would have a problem because in this case, I will just get um, an unnamed column. So I'm just going to name this, let's say, subtotal. I'm going to select the information on the one hand from the orders and on the other hand from the products. And those two I have to link and that's what's new here. I'm going to put between those two what I said my inner join. The inner join requires that I have information on both of those two tables. So I have information in the orders regarding the product ID I'm going to link them with and in the products table. Well, as I said, I'm going to link them by product code. So I have to tell him this as well. That's what I'm going to do in the next row. So I'm going with on. On is actually what tells him, hey, that's the condition. And that's, in this case, o, o, o dot product code, product code equal to P dot product code. So he knows, take those two tables, 
link the two tables by their product code. Then display all these variables. Well, let's check this out. Let's save and switch to the data view. And we see here we get all the different orders. We get the product names respectively, the quantity and then the subtotal in dollars. Well, this worked decently well. And well, this also has a different advantage, which I wasn't so much counting on, because the order ID is already in order, so to speak. So in alphabetical order, it starts with A001, and then we have all the different parts from order A001, and then two, three, four, so forth. However, if this would not be the case, so if you just have to order this by the order ID, we could also do this. And in this case, you have to take care. Oftentimes, you might think, well, I heard with the order part, I would put this somewhere between from and on. No, this is more or less one line of code. So nothing goes in between those two lines. If you want to order this afterwards, you place the order by after all of this. So we go order by O dot and then put the order ID here. Well, nothing much will change because it was already ordered. But, well, even if it wouldn't have been or some other part later on would screw with the um, order of the different products, this would assure that all the different suborders would always be close together. And, well, that's done already everything I wanted to talk about in this unit on how to link two tables via the inner join. I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more in the next unit I'm going to talk about different types of joins. So hope to see you again and goodbye.